All right, here we are, day two of the One Week Wonder. It's mid-morning here. Wanted to wait just a little bit to get some more stuff done because I was here late in the afternoon, but a lot has been done in the last two hours. So we're to walk around and show you what's been done on the One Week Wonder. All right, so yesterday they were working on the sides of each side of this uh, fuselage, and now it looks like we actually have almost a tail, tail comb. So where exactly are we at, Jim, with the uh, fuselage? Fuselage is coming together nicely. Uh, took a little longer than we would hoped, but uh, these are the side panels. And one of the reasons that took a little extra time is on these side rivets here are the ones that the public uh, put in place and signed, and their names are now in the builder log. So these are now uh, built by Air Venture attendees, not the volunteers. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it took a little extra time, but it's amazing to see people. And you know, the line was so long. They got a lot done. So yeah, the, we're putting the uh, fuselage together now with the cross ties and um, some of the other components. And then we'll work on the bottom. Right now it's upside down, uh, what you're seeing here. So then we'll put the turtle deck on later. All right, so over to the wing section. Give an update on what's going on over here. So where we, I see we got at least one side built. Yeah, um, so we got all the um, ribs on currently. The uh, rear and the main spars are also put on. These are about to get riveted down. They're all deburred and they're ready to be riveted together and then skinned. Okay, so the skeleton is nearly ready to be riveted, final riveted. And what do you think later this afternoon to be able to actually put the skins on? I think it's going to be a little bit longer than that. Uh, we still maybe have, maybe at least click code in place this afternoon. Oh yeah, click code in place, but we're uh, you know we have to upsize all of the holes and then deburr it and stuff like that. So it takes a while, but uh, things are going along very well. A lot of uh, volunteers and uh, you know young guys. Good to see. Are you having fun? Of course. Love building airplanes, you know. I appreciate your help. Thank you. All right, we'll do another update on the wings uh, later this afternoon. All right, so don't tell me we're ready to start mounting tires to this thing already. <laughs> Not quite yet, but we are working on the entire landing gear setup. All right, so what sub-assemblies are you working here at the moment? I see some anodized parts laying on the table. What is this here? These are actually the brakes uh, that Sonic supplies with the aircraft. And what we're doing now is we're fitting them to the uh, backing plates that will actually mount to the um, wheel pants and the axle so that the brakes will press against the, uh, the disc here on the, on the tires. So on this uh, design, the wheel pant is part of the sub-assembly of the entire brake system? Uh, yes, well, the entire landing gear system, so we have to do that. So, Awesome. Thanks for the update. All right, James, so I stopped by yesterday to see you. And I think you were working on the rotor vader, so yep. you're working on the skin of the rotor vader. Now I think you've got some more work done. What have you done since yesterday? Well, what we were able to do is measure out all these holes and drill them. And then we had to place the ribs in the middle. And uh, it's important with riveting that you have at least a quarter inch uh, you know, margin at the edge. So we had to mark all these ribs, push them in the middle with a stick, line them up, and match drill them. What, what do you mean? We're at. <laughs> what do you mean exactly? Push it in the middle with a stick. I see you, you click on one side, and you had a long stick. You push down the middle. Yeah, what, yeah, what is that about? Took the stick to adjust. There's a rib in the middle there, and we just push on it until we see the line line up. So we've marked a line on the rib, and once that lines up, then we're ready to drill. Ready to drill and click Yeah, exactly. All right, I'll check in with you later on. All right, take care, man. Have a good show. All right, so I walked over to your table because it looks like you're building a TV antenna. Absolutely, it's a TV antenna. No, it's a rear stabilizer, so wide tail. So we've got a left and a right side, and we're fitting the ribs on the stabilizer now. Once we're done, we'll be wrapping it in skin and letting people rivet. So you're really close to skinning this thing. Really close. we got to rivet both sides, and we'll be ready for skin. Awesome. I'll check back with you this afternoon. All right, sounds good. See you later.
We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Aviation Youth Magazine at AviationUSA.com, The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. All right, so let's do a quick five o'clock update on the one week wonder. Uh, Chris, you've been working obviously all over the place uh, as, as uh, the project leads. Where are we at with the wings right now? Oh, we're starting to skin the, uh, the left wing here. Um, we just wrapped the uh, upper skin over, uh, the forward upper skin over, and we're ready to drill that, and we're about to flip it over and uh, get the bottoms on. So you think we're still on uh, target to get this done in seven days or six and a half? I think we're looking good. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a, uh, the right wing going, and we've got a turtle deck on the uh, on the fuselage, and it's looking good. So it's five o'clock right now. How much longer do you think we'll be working tonight? I think we're probably going to go until about seven tonight. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. A little overtime tonight. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, so right, I'll check with I'll check with you a little bit for uh, tomorrow morning. We'll do another update. Sounds good. All right. So let's do a fuselage update. We got Nick in the tail cone of this airplane right now, and. So where are we at with the, uh, with the tail cone of the fuselage? Just getting all the uh, measurements, final measurements to get everything upsized and drilled. And once we get that, we'll get all our bulkheads in place and get it riveted up and the, look, get everything clinkoed first and got to upsize, deburr, and then do it again. So about how many uh, different bulkheads uh, we got here? Uh, total, there's three, three, and you got one in the very tail, like right at the front of the tail, but three main bulkheads. And these are these go together kind of like ribs and a wing, it looks like. Pretty much, yeah, more or less. A little different, but it's close. <laughs> and how long are you, are you planning on working tonight, you think? I'll be out here shortly, probably next half an hour. Just getting the final measurements squared away for the morning. All right, well, I'll check in with you tomorrow morning. Sounds good, thank you. All right, so... Um, the tail no longer looks like a TV antenna. No, now it looks like a stabilizer, a Y-shaped stabilizer. So this is ready to go rivet for the team, for the general public tomorrow. Okay, I see we've got a couple rivets already started, but you want people outside the fence to do the, the final riveting. Final riveting, yes. Yeah. So we put in all the critical ones and the ones that, to get the ribs started, and the rest is up to the rest of the EAA to finish it off for us. Okay, so I stopped by and checked in this morning, and you were still at the frame, st the, the very basic frame stage, essentially, and now this is nearly done. So the tail takes about a day with how many, how many people helping? About three. Okay. Yep. So not bad. So about a day for three people, you can build Nearly the entire tail. Entire stabilizer, yes. All right, well, I'll check it with you uh, tomorrow morning. All right, sounds good. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so obviously some big things are happening uh, on day two here at the One Week Wonder Build on the Sonics. I want to point out the, the board behind me right here. If you see those little little bubbles, there's that right wing power plant installation, controls, windshield, so forth. They got little bubbles to fill in. If you look closely, and I'll, I'll zoom into this in a second, they'll actually climb up there with a ladder and put a check mark. Uh, to each sub-assembly that they have completed. So we'll be following along with that, uh, with this project to see what is actually knocked off the list. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll check in for day three tomorrow morning.